hi my name is Tamara welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and if you're new and you like what you see please subscribe join the family and also give this video a thumbs up so that we can reach more perfume lovers but as you can see from the title today we are talking about fragrances that I grew to love now I will say this I am NOT the biggest blind buying person I do have some fragrances that I blind buy however I like to smell my fragrances I like to wear them and I like to get a feel of the fragrance before I bring it into my collection because I really want to curate a, a perfume collection that I really love I also did blind buy some fragrances this year some most of them were a hit but some were also a fail and then some I kind of grow to love so right now I have about five or six fragrances today that I want to talk about that I actually grew to love they were not the love at first sniff I became I started I love I started liking them over time and then some are them. some of them are really love 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 so if you want to see what these are please keep on watching so the first fragrance we're going to be talking about that i actually i'm still growing to like it's a like now before it's like oh i can't know now i'm liking it and it's a big like right now and this is passion de l'amour from house of siage so you see i've been wearing her not as often so this one it's a sweet but it has the oud in there um it's nice it's not bad i think it's more of a like a fall fragrance colder month fragrance i like the fragrance but with this fragrance i find that i can't overspray it and the last few times i wore it a few times and it just i overspray and it was a big mistake another thing about this fragrance that i realized too is whenever i wear it a lot of older men always be like Oh, you smell good. What are you wearing? I don't know what is it about this fragrance that attracts older men. And when I say older, I mean 70, 80. <laughs> that's the that's what it's a magnet for them. But I just I couldn't rock it. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't love it. But the more I'm wearing it and the more I'm smelling it is the more I'm appreciating it. It's not a love, but it's a like, and that's why we're starting the video with this one it does have a hint of sweetness to it though so when you press spray it does have an, an hint of sweetness you're gonna smell the wood coming through um some woody notes in there but it's, it's, it's not a bad fragrance i don't know why i don't wear it much but i'm starting to appreciate the notes more it's well blended it's a high quality fragrance it was just i just didn't love something about it and I think it was that oud or wooden notes that was just pulling as soon as you spray it but it does have a hint of sweetness that also balance it out as well I will say though I love Wonder Woman that was a fragrance that they have that I really love and I love awful puff I think that's what it's named that new vanilla citrus vanilla fragrance that's a pretty one I like those two but this one I'm growing it's growing on me so this is and this is passion de l'amour by the house of siage another one that I I grew to love over time is leisure in paradise I blind by leisure in paradise and when I first sprayed it, I, I did not like it it had a papaya note in there that I was my, I just not used to it I don't I'm not used to papaya in my fragrance but with the papaya the mango the pineapple it was just a lot going on when i sprayed and I, it gives me it and it still does it gives me a it gives me a cough syrup vibe i don't know why in the opening but it really dries down to a beautiful fragrance so it doesn't the papaya and all of that doesn't last much long it doesn't last long so it dries down to a beautiful fragrance i'm starting to like it more way more than when i first got it when i first got it i was like Mm, I don't know about this one but then as I wear it and it dries down I like it more and also the more I wear it is the more I'm getting a feel of it and a feel for it so it looks like I wear it a lot because I actually decant this for my sister so that um, she could test it out she actually liked it she liked it she didn't get the cough syrup that I get from it so but the papaya note was it was a hard note for me to get used to but eventually i'm coming around to it it's not a love either but it's a strong like and this is leisure in paradise by simone andrioli 
and this you know this you see the bottle you know this is guidance by amouage i love this fragrance this is a love love this is a fragrance i grew to love i tell you the hype was real and i saw the hype i'm like oh whatever i'm not even getting into the mix of the some love it some hate it whatever until uh, my wonderful subscriber she's a friend in my head she said hey you should try guidance i think you, i think you will like it i went and smell it it was okay it's like what the hell am i smelling i could not it was so complex so different so nothing i was expecting to smell and i was like what the hell is this i smell um tuberose love tuberose and i love that fragrance i sprayed one on one hand love tuberose on the other hand and i automatically love tuberose love love tuberose right away as i was driving as i was driving home i was like oh this is not bad okay not bad the dry down was really really nice i bought a decant i got the decant i was like what is this still wasn't good longevity wasn't good no compliments nothing like what i heard everybody talking about i think sacks are the sale and i decided to still buy it. there was something about it that i'm like you know let me see let me try it one more time i'm getting it for a good deal i bought it now i love it i don't know if the sample wasn't good and i almost sure that that sample wasn't a good sample but this is gonna be a complex scent it's not an easy to wear scent you have to love complex niche fragrance to love this one but the dry down on this one is absolutely beautiful it's very spicy the hazelnut is nutty but then it dries down to a nice beautiful elegant beast mode fragrance tons of compliments and every time i wear this i get compliments the other day i wore a jacket a black jacket to work and I want to say a week after I pull out the jacket, guidance was strong as ever on that jacket. I don't know what they put in this fragrance, but you have to wash your clothes to get the scent off your clothes. It is beast mode. So this one, I could not get into it at first, but this one, I now love it. So this was a grow to love, and this is a love. I also love the new guidance for the six even more. It's actually a nicer, more refined fragrance than this one. So this is a love now, but before it was a what the hell is this? This is another blind buy. I guess my blind buys are what I, I have to grow, uh, grow to love because I blind buy them and I hate taking fragrance back. So this one is Neroli Blanc and I saw a young lady um, talking about it and she was just going on and on about this fragrance and I was like, let me try it out. Let me get it. It was so hard to get it, it came from France and it is nice it's a nice fragrance not a love it's a like um but i'm liking it more as i wear it it strong orange blossom so you have to love your orange blossom um to like this but it's not bad the dry down again is also very nice and i think this is neroli intense right the dry down is also very nice on this one but it where was i battery died <laughs> sorry yeah so this neroli blank intense it's like a sweet orange blossom it's a sweet orange blossom fragrance so when you first spray it you're gonna get that blast of orange blossom in your face it has some sweet notes in there as well it has a vanilla and musk but it is it's growing on me it's not a lover first sniff it is a okay orange blossom heavy so if i were to title this one if i were to say this for me this is like a sweet orange blossom fragrance it has some hint of sweetness but the orange blossom is, you have to love orange blossom to love this one. So this one is growing on me. I don't even know what year, what time of year I would even wear this or where I would even wear this to. This is, I'm still trying to figure this one out as the time of year and occasion that I want to wear this to. But this is Neroli Blanc Intense, hard to get. I got it from France. I think I paid $20 for shipping. But it's not a bad fragrance. It's just a sweet orange blossom fragrance. If you like vanilla, you like musk, you like... Um, sweet notes and you like orange blossom get this you will like it if not stay away from it <laughs> but it's not bad now another one that i grew to love and i have a dupe of it too is this i have this little bottle of oud satin mood that i got and when i first got it, it was like oh this is too strong too much too unisex too much oud but then i wore it one day and i was like oh okay not bad wore it again and the more i wear it i realized that okay i really do like this fragrance 
So I think my nose is trained or it's getting better and it's kind of liking and appreciate oud and woody notes more because before, once it has oud or woody notes or anything like that, I'm staying away. But now I like them and I can appreciate them. This one is a oud musky vanilla with some slight, with a hint of sweetness. This is now a love. So I have a dupe that I got from Juliana's Perfume, I want to say. That's a really good dupe for it. And I have this one and, I, and the, uh, the oud satin one is on my wish list that I think I'm going to get for winter. It's actually a really nice winter fragrance it's woody it's a little bit sweet a little bit musky but you have to appreciate woody notes you have to appreciate oud to like this one but it's not harsh or in your face it's a well blended fragrance and this is oud satin mood by mfk and the final one that we're going to be talking about that i grew to love was tuberose astral by Maison Crevelli. I didn't even buy this one. This one, my friend blind bite and the uh, leather was too much. It was pulling all she, all I could smell on her skin was the leather. So she was going to send it back to Saks. I sprayed it and I was like, what the hell is this? It was a lot of leather coming through some sweetness, but the leather was so prominent in there. So as I'm driving home though, I was like, Oh, this is not bad. I was like, okay. It has that strong leathery note in there. And that's what I was smelling as soon as I sprayed it. But as it dries down on my skin and as I'm driving home, I was like, oh, but it's beautiful. It's not bad. And I kept every 10 minutes, not bad. This is nice. By the end of, by the time I got home, which was maybe 40 minutes drive, I was like, no, I'll buy it from you because I, it was just nice. Now it still isn't a love because, and I said, let me get it. Didn't love it when I first got it. Even when I bought it, because I love the dry down, I think I bought it because of the dry down. Because when I first put it, I was like, what the hell is this? It's too much going on for me. But then as I'm wearing it, it wears really, really well on my skin. And then the leather tames down a little bit. And it's not just leather that you're smelling, but the other note. After I'm wearing it, I started to smell some florals, you know, so it started to smell like, okay, this is a nice perfume. It's not bad. The tuberose is pulling through and I love tuberose. And then you started getting that hint of sweetness and that vanilla pulling through in there eventually. So it settles down to be a nice floral scent. Um, you still have the leather, but the leather is not as loud and prominent as when you first sprayed. It just blends. It started to blend in with the other notes. You started smelling more florals, more vanilla, more musk, and that's what it dries down to. Um, a little bit of a sweeter fragrance than when you first sprayed. So eventually it was like, oh, this is nice. However, it's a beast mode. You can't overspray because if you overspray, it's going to humble you you're going to want to take them out of your clothes. So this is a four to six sprays top for me because it's going to last all day and it's going to project. See, as on this one is amazing. So this is Tuberose Astral and this is now a strong like. And those are, that's it. Those are the fragrances that I really have in my collection that took me some time to, to appreciate them. Some I love, others I'm still appreciating and I'm still liking and others are a little bit stronger like when some are just alike. And that's what you get when you blind buy because you don't know what you're getting. And you can read notes on a fragrance, but sometimes even reading the notes doesn't tell the true story because the note could say it looks good, it's, you're going to love it. And then when you get it, you're like, what the hell? So be careful how you blind buy. But if you love blind buy and you don't mind hits or misses, then do it. But for me, I still love the experience of smelling the fragrance, doing the wear test, see how it vibes with my skin, see how I like it, and then get the fragrance. I'm still going to do some blind buy because I, um, I blind buy a couple of fragrance the other day and I absolutely love them. So it can go anyway. That's, how, that's what happens when you blind buy. But these are the fragrances that I have that I actually grew to love. Let me know if you have any fragrance in your collection that you actually had to grow to like them but they weren't love at first they've let me know i want to know i mean not buy them but i still want to know <laughs> but um thank you so much for watching i hope that i get to see you in the next one bye